You want in the video? Uh, my name is Nathan Compton. I play center and I play for Long Beach State. When I was in first grade, my uh, teacher had season tickets to the Ducks and um, she would give me tickets all the time. Crosby when I was younger and then uh, once I started getting older, once I had like 15, it was Rocco Grimaldi. What would you like about Crosby? Uh, maybe his style of play. Uh, he wasn't focused on just scoring. It was mainly his uh, attention to details and how he moved the puck. My goal when I was younger was to pay for college. Uh, but it, as I saw, they didn't really give many uh, hockey scholarships. So I uh, just wanted to get good enough so I could do whatever I wanted. like. If I wanted to play in a high league, I could, or like, if I wanted to make a certain move at a certain time, I could. That was pretty much my goal, was to just get good at every single individual element of the game. I think it was just the fact that it was a challenge of a sport. It was so hard that I, I just I just got hooked on it. I, I could not, like, the, you see your progress, you see the moves you can make after a certain amount of time of practicing them, and it, it really just pays off. How often would you skate when you were younger? Every day, every day, probably two to three hours a day. Like, if I wasn't doing a lesson, I'd be at my own practice, and if I wasn't at my own practice, I'd be coaching younger kids. Second year, 16s, we went to Vegas for something called the Silver Stick International Tournament, which is a pretty well-known tournament, um, and. We ended up playing our rivals, the Ducks, there in the quarterfinals. And it was one of the hardest games I have ever played. I blocked way too many shots. Uh, and it goes into overtime against this team where we, I, we hated everybody on their team. All the parents on their team hated all the parents on our team. It was just total rivals. And I go out there in overtime. I, I dive for a puck, my buddy hops off the bench and I shoot it off the boards to him for a breakaway, he goes in and scores. And this guy never scores on breakaways. He's had, he had that year probably like 15, 20 breakaways and this was maybe the second one he scored and we went crazy. And then we ended up winning the tournament. But the one time he needed it most and he came yeah, through. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he, he came in clutch for sure. But uh, besides hockey, like my favorite thing hockey's probably allowed me to do is, is travel and see family because um, I have family up in Canada and a lot of family on the East Coast and a lot of those tournaments allowed me to go see family I haven't seen for a long time. So in terms of just favorite things that hockey's let me do, it's, it's definitely see family and you know, visit new places. And what does it mean to play, be playing in the ACHA for Long Beach State? Um, honestly, for me, it's, it's more about uh, the community. So I'm... Um, I didn't really want to join any clubs in college. Uh, I kind of just wanted to get my schooling done and then go to work. Not that I want to work, but uh, it, it really allows me to, you know, meet new people and hang out with the boys instead of just going to class, going home every day and hanging out with this little one. So you got a couple years left in you, so it's been a bit, a bit of a stretch, but like, what are your plans for after you graduate? make money I mean that's the point of college isn't it mm -hmm. but um, definitely out of college uh, I want to work either on valves or like specialized valves or uh, planes it's kind of been like my what I liked since I was young and what is your major mechanical engineering mechanical engineering yeah. okay smart dude I see Sometimes. Sometimes. Two brain cells fighting for third place. <laughs> and is hockey going to be in your life after graduation? I couldn't see hockey ever not being in my life, whether that's coaching, playing beer league, or, or refing, because I've been really trying to push to higher levels in refing lately. Mm.